So the reason why I'm asking you is because I've never played any Dragon Age game. But um, I do want to talk about Dragon Age right over here. It comes to us from that park place. It says Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, game director who describes himself as a queerosexual gender mancer, claims game is inherently queer. What the fuck is a gender mancer queerosexual? He made up his own class. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, geez. Okay, so Bioware announced that it's renaming its upcoming Dragon Age game from Dragon Age Dreadwolf to Dragon Age Veilguard. At the same time, it's been brought to the public uh, attention that the game's director is a man pretending to be a woman who supports BLM. He also believes the game is inherently queer. Okay, in a blog titled Next Dragon Age has a new title, the Bioware explained that the change in the title is because they did not want to put the focus on the enemy, but rather than the or rather the player and his companions. The blog was detailed. Naturally, the Dread Wolf still has an important part of the tale, but you and your companions, not your enemies, are the heart of this new experience. So to capture what this game is all about, we changed the uh, name as the original title didn't show how uh, just how strongly we feel about our new heroes their stories, and how you'll need to bring them together to save all. Uh, Thetis, we proudly introduce to you Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Uh, no, man. I see. So and the cinematic continues, but now we want to tear down that veil and destroy the world. And we're the only ones who can stop him. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot of gay stuff in there. So Grum's actually talked about it over here, too. He says, um, Bioware Dragon Age has been named from blah, blah, blah. New gameplay trailer debuted uh, June 11th. So that's in a couple of days. I'm hoping for a great game free of modern politics. Oh, so right over here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this up. Trans woman, she, her game director. Posts are protected. Trans right. Oh, man. Exciting news. Um, yeah. This is uh does not bode this does not bode well. Great, how do you yeah. feel about this, man? Yeah, Bioware went extremely downhill ever since Anthem. It's like they never got a chance to recover from that. Uh, yeah, I was hoping this was this was the game that would redeem them. Like, because like it's been so long since we got a last Dragon Age game, and yeah, I yeah it's like I couldn't get into Inquisition because of like it. Just like it's such an open world that you have to do so many boring stuff to progress in the story. That so Dreadwolf is was supposed to be a follow-up to the latest one, Inquisition, where one of your one of your allies, uh he it at the end by the end of the, the final DLC of Inquisition, he, be, he like he betrays you and he's he becomes the main villain for this game for this incoming game. But uh yeah, so because it's, I think it's because I get why they made the name change because like it's been, I think it's been way too long for pe for newcomers to be familiar with what happened with the prior Dragon Age games. That's why they made this change. But yeah, they're gonna insert queer shit in it, so it's yeah, that, it especially these types of games heavily hinges on how good the story is and the writing is, and if they're gonna make it like it's about their gender I identity, yeah, it's gonna destroy the immersion and probably the whatever chance this franchise has yeah but uh, there's okay okay there's in in there's right it's all the way to dragon age one you can have like you can have homosexual relationships already but it like i noticed that it becomes increasingly more apparent as every iteration of the games now now that um now that a lot of this a lot of these dei employees are becoming more vocal or be becoming more aggressive it doesn't surprise me that they're going all in for this latest entry. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I've never played any Dragon Age game, but the thing is that if they, it looks like the, ga the game is getting uh, gayer and gayer with each version coming out. And uh, yeah, I, I think everything moving forward with a lot of these video game companies are just going to be extremely gay, extremely woke. Given the fact that like, it'll, like we we do know that Baldur's Gate 3 is gay and woke, but the game is really good. The story, the story, is, pre the story is pretty damn good, and it won Game of the Year last year, and it definitely deserved it. But the thing is that the gay the gay stuff, it's, um, you don't see too much of it 
you have to go out and look for that gay stuff. The only one that you actually really, really get is um, is uh, uh, when you in Act Two when you rescue the angel, and uh, I I I forgot that girl's name already. Uh, the the daughter. So th that's when you get the gay stuff, but it's not really like thrown in your face. It's like, oh, I'm gonna have hardcore lesbian scissoring sex with my girlfriend here. It's it doesn't doesn't have any of that. But the thing is, like, if it's like front and center, and like they they want you, like one of the main characters is like basically super gay. I'm not sure how Dragon Age plays, but like it's gonna turn a lot of people off. Yeah, Dragon Age 1, Dragon Age Origins plays a lot like BG3, but not as complex as BG3. So if you like BG3, you will probably like uh, Dragon Age minus the wokeness. I actually, like I'll, I'll, it, like thinking about it now, there's this particular scene, like one of the most iconic characters in that game is actually one of the villains. Like there's this particular point in the game, in the story, an intersection, where you have to convince multiple factions to join your side. I still remember that his voice acting there was really, really good. It was, yeah. And also, like, there's there were some heavy hitters back back in the day, like uh, Tim Curry. Tim Curry was one of the major characters in Dragon Age One. He's also one of the iconic characters. But yeah, uh, memories of when Bioware was really, really good. The, what, there was a time when I thought Bioware can do no wrong. <laughs> uh, they they did. What other stuff did they do? Bioware. Ma Mass Effect. Already. Mass ah. Effect. Yeah, Mass oh, Effect okay. tri trilogy is also really, really good. But yeah, but it's like I, I want to do videos about Bioware games, but may maybe I'll start with KOTOR. Maybe I'll start with KOTOR. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.